I need an operator I can trust. Well, there's only one choice in that case. James Burns, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, boys and girls, in our Call of Duty Actors interview series, up next is the legendary OG Frank Woods from Battlefield 1, 2, and 4, Mr. James C. Burns. Now, James and I have actually become incredibly close friends over the last few months. We spend about one or two days together a week going down to the gun range or going out for a spot of food, writing, working on projects together. And I'm very excited that today we get to hear from the man himself all of his answers to the interview questions that we laid out before him down at the gun range in the full length video, which is also available on this YouTube channel. See what James had to say. He's a very amusing man. And look out for the little cameo by Ghost. It gets saucy. And ladies and gentlemen, once you're done enjoying this incredible video, why not check out the website of today's sponsor, Gunner Optic Gaming Glasses. Ah! There they are. Glorious, majestic, powerful, stylish. They stop you having your sleep patterns interrupted. They stop you getting migraines and eye strain. They stop you having long-term negative effects to your bloody eyeballs. And the entire time you'll look devilishly handsome. Just like that. So make sure you check out gunner.com for more information about what these amazing blue light blocking glasses can do for you, as well as checking out their various frame styles, prescription lenses, and more available at their website. Oh! And use code Jeff if you want 10% discount on your order. Why not? You get a little something, I get a little something. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the video with James C. Burns. I'll see you next time. Uh, my name is James C. Burns. I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1, 2, 4, and Declassified. Ooh, ooh, Jeff Leach is here. Ah, see, this is this is why I come to these events. Huh? <laughs> this is why I do this. This is why he I'm here. He demands a rub down before uh, every I, interview. I'm just gotta work that. Let me let me just get him. Uh, uh, see, yeah, that's this is it. There this it is, is a full service gun range. I told range, you I got man. you six. Yeah. What was my knowledge of the franchise before I got booked? Uh, my story is interesting um, <laughs> to me. Um, I know nothing about it. Um, I didn't really audition for the part. I auditioned to test the technology back in 2009 for performance capture. And then um, I just developed a rapport with the guys over at Treyarch, and they then they brought me back for uh, testing the role of Sergeant Frank Barnes, just the, the green light test, so they can submit it to Activision. And then did the first one, they liked me, I came back for the second one, and then they vanished for three months, and then one day I see in the in the breakdowns, um, the trades, that they are casting for the role of Sergeant Frank Woods, and the in the breakdown, man, it, it described me to a T: height, weight, the disposition. I go, wait, I have to audition for the role that I created, so that's what happened. Yeah, and then it just just stuck. If you can't spend an inordinate amount of time on a controller and learn how to use it, then it's a nightmare. I, I played it once in a while. I have a YouTube channel and I have a couple of gameplay videos. I have one in particular where it's funny because I'm stuck in this, I can't, I'm in a circle and I can't get out of it. And I go, I, what the, what this? So I am so bad on the controller that I actually get stuck in the game and I end up shooting myself or I don't know, I can't make it go left or right. I don't know which button to shoot. So I'm like, I'm useless on a game, I'm on a controller. So, well, basically, Woods was built on my chassis. It was designed around me as my face, my body, my voice. Uh, when I started doing Woods, it was primarily live action. I did very little. I'm not really a voiceover actor. I wouldn't do that because I know Nolan North and Troy Baker, and they are stunningly talented. I am not. I am a one-trick pony, and this is it. So when you meet me and you meet Woods, you're like, you're like the same guy. You know, like, well, yeah, that's. That's the range of my acting capabilities. So just, you know, so me and Woods have a lot in common. I wrote for the character. I wrote the dialogue for Black Ops 2. I wrote a lot of dialogue for Black Ops 4. So I have, um, I had the privilege of being able to um, create this character alongside, you know, the team at Treyarch, and they gave me a lot of leeway. They gave me a lot of opportunity to uh, go off script, to inject my thoughts, and then when I started writing with them, I got to really, really define what I wanted the character to be about. And that was, you know, what, what a blessing to have that. So I thank you 
Treyarch, and thank you Activision for that. He can't die. I mean, come on. I mean, he just doesn't die. There's a famous line, you can't kill me. Damn straight you can't. So, yeah, that's a, a immortality wouldn't be great, right? <laughs> uh, but, it, no, but emotionally, um, he doesn't care. He's mission oriented. He'll, he, he, he's not encumbered by regrets or by, um, by uh, uh, holding on to the past. It's always about moving on to the next moment. What's the next thing? You know, I don't want to hear what happened. How do we fix it? He's very much about solving problems. How do I, how do I fix the problem? Forget about why it happened. What do we do to fix it? If you ask me what my favorite thing about being Woods is, is it's the community. I have a YouTube channel. I have a, you know 100,000 followers. I got. I've traveled the world with the USO, meeting soldiers and been to Comic Cons, and I love the fans. Um, Woods, again, I had the privilege of creating a character. I was a hockey coach, and I coached from a place of compassion and forward thinking. So what I built into the character was he would never shame you. If I say, hey, you can do this, you can do it, you know, he's intense, but he's never going to say you can't, he's never going to diminish you, he's going to want to build you up and try to get you to be, feel you're confident and strong enough to do what you got to do. And so I, I demanded that in the character, and you know I wouldn't I wouldn't say lines that weren't supportive of that. And the result was when I meet when I meet kids who have spent thousands of hours dealing with my character, they feel like they trust me. They feel like they like they like me. They want to get to know me. They feel safe. And I have developed tremendous relationships over the last 11 years. And I love the community. They're it, they're amazing. Um, Kids of all ages, nine to ninety, blind, crippled, crazy. They can't walk. I wheel them. You know, they, the community is amazing, and they gave me so much support that I, it's like I am blessed to, to have to become this character. Years ago, I was a musician, and I, I wrote music, and I, and I left that behind for a number of reasons. So, and since quarantine happened. I've been in the process of rediscovering that, rebuilding that skill set. That's one thing I'm, I'm, I'm moving towards. Personally speaking, I really, I really want to move myself to a place where I really can talk to myself as gently as I talk to my players, as gently as I talk to other people. I want to have a better relationship with how I, you know, how my voice in my head treats myself. You know, because it's he's he's pretty hard on me. And I'm, uh, I'm really working at, you know, redeveloping that, that inner child work, as we say, you know. I drink rosé. I love rosé. Rosé all fucking day. I have tried to play the game. Okay, let me... S how can I say this to you in a very succinct and polite way? I suck at it. I am so bad at playing video games that I'm an embarrassment. I was asked not to go online because I was embarrassing the franchise. So that's, I, I, I really have no skill as a, in, as a gamer. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a pinball guy. I go back to pinball and I did, did play some Space Invaders. But that's, my dexterity is non-existent. I look at a controller, I go, Ye yellow, blue, red, I, what do these buttons do? What the hu- I, I don't have the capacity to handle that, so I, you know, I, I, I would love to play, I don't, and I don't have any expectation that I'm gonna commit time to learn how to do it. Um, Hang on. Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. It's not booze. I told my ass that. Uh, <laughs> All right, listen to me, let me tell you something here. I'm telling you right now. Oh man. Movie called Cold Water. Shot it in, I think, 2013. Um, it was one of the, one of the first lead roles I had um, playing a, basically a, a retired uh, Marine Colonel. Very much like, I shot it actually at the same time I was shooting Black Ops 2. And he ran a, uh, a juvenile um, reformation, I, I, you know, 
place where kids are sent to kind of get their shit together. And he starts off with, with good intentions and it ends up in a bad way. And again, as an, as an actor, to explore, to explore the vulnerabilities that I have as a man and kind of put them in front of the screen, that's a great opportunity. Uh, now, personally speaking, um, learning to learning to give the world its space. I do not define myself by what other people think, do, or say. I don't demand somebody use words that make me comfortable, do things that make me comfortable, or have ideas that make me comfortable. I, I accept that other people are gonna have their own thing. And I don't have to define myself whether they're angry or not. And that's a lifelong mission for me, to kind of has inner autonomy, as we say. See, they're shooting at me now for saying that shit, you know? Anything you want to add, my friend? Um, yeah, um, Jeff Leach. Um, one, of the, one of the best things that happened to me because of Call of Duty was meeting Jeff Leach. He's a, he's a kindred spirit. One of the best men I know. He is contemplative, he's generous, and he is somebody who probably uh, a, a friend for life. So I deeply appreciate the fact that uh, Jeff reached out to me to do this, and I hope we can do it again. He's he is he's the kind of guy that when I grow up, I'm gonna be like just like him, even though he is 30 years younger than me. So when I grow up, I'm gonna be Jeff Leach. Woods out. It's gonna be the softest sticks ever. Crap. This is James C. Burns' interview. No, it's not. No, it's not.